Welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to finish painting this K frame. Got the paint right here. Some deep blue. Deep blue. We're going to paint our deep blue. I've been spraying it down with PB Blaster, the bolts. That way, you know, they don't break off. Because I don't need them to break off. I'll spray them down with you guys. Right now. Right there. Right there. Hopefully it comes out easy. Try, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it comes out easy. So, we guys will catch you once I get this flipped over and we'll finish painting the back. Alright, I got it flipped over. Finish painting it. bumper blue too because I really don't know what color we're gonna paint this yet no one's leaving a comment below on what color besides for one person and I ain't paying black and yellow sorry not gonna happen not with me so come on guys comment below what color would you like to see this car So that'll be it for today. Tomorrow we're gonna, uh, like I said, we're gonna attempt to take this K-frame off. We gotta take tires off. We gotta take the suspension off. Then we gotta unhook the steering. Then we gotta start playing with them bolts on the K-frame. So, we guys will catch you tomorrow. Welcome back. We are back here again. 
we're going to be taking that K-frame out. She's going to do the tires for me because she wants to help. So, here you go. And the impact's on the car. Get to it. Yep. I'll give her a little help. You didn't tell me that would fall out. You gotta keep a hold of it. She's a pet. Okay, Butterfingers. Give her a little help here. She got this one off. Let's yeet this tip tire off here. Trying to find uh trying to find somewhere for you guys to go. found a problem. Yeah. This is not supposed to, uh, this is not supposed to do that. So, so this hub is trash. Let's get a new one. Good old Vance Auto Parts should have that in stock ready for me to pick up by tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Put the lug nuts right here. Uh, right here, lug nuts. Okay. Because they only do big guys. Like I already described in the last channel, or last video, scratch that video. It's only flat on the bottom. You, you see that, you guys? It's only flat on the bottom. You don't need the bottom side to be, you know, full of air. Well, this one seems like it's going to be all right. So we'll take these two bolts off. We'll take this off. Then we will take the tie rods in and off. Then we'll take this lower control arm off right here. Then we'll do that to both sides and we'll get back with you in a minute. All right, as you see, we got this lower control arm. We got the strut out. We got the brake caliber out. We got the tie rod up sitting over here. Looks like we're gonna need a new tie rod in pretty dirty. Well, the boot is ripped. So I'm going to do what I did to this side, to that side real quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so I got the other side off, as you can see. We got this bolt off. Alright. as soon as I can see it. Right there on both sides and we got this bolt off on both sides now all we have to do is this one 
right here and that one over there but they are not wanting to oops sorry they're not wanting to move so I think I'm gonna call Brad up and have him come out with his torches heat that bolt up a little bit maybe it will loosen it up so we can break it loose so I can, we can get this k-frame off with all the bolts to hold it back together because as you know if you break one of these bolts off you're basically screwed because the nut is literally right here right here nuts right here I mean the bolt goes through here and the nut is literally right here and you you cannot get it to the nut period you can't get to it so I don't know why Chevy made that but Chevy made it but so since we got them two bolts out I've sprayed more PB blaster on it so maybe it will free up hopefully by itself but if not oh well I mean so that'll be the end of the video I mean it is actually Wednesday night I actually came home from work early because of this ice storm and you know driving a semi with 14 inch wide tires suck because they're big old one tire in the back and they sucked so that'll be it for today and thank you for watching we're just shutting up the shop now we're going to turn off the propane from Hank Hill you know propane propane accessories we'll turn off our radio turn off our lights and Say, see you in the morning. Welcome back. We are back here at it again. It's a little chilly out, so we have the heater on. So, we're going to try to get them two bolts out. I got my good old friend here, the breaker. So, we'll either break them loose, or I'll just give up and wait until I can get them torches over here wait on Brad to get over here but I don't know if he'll be in this video or if he'll be in the next video because as you know it's Sunday and I post on Sunday so this might be a short video for you guys but I don't know if you guys like the long videos or short videos leave a comment below and tell me if you like the long ones or the short ones so let's get to it Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Not a good sign. Gosh dang it. So we got one broke. That means we gotta try to heat this up. So it probably won't be in this video. Well, the escape frame probably will not be off when this video is posted. So let's try this one over here. So, I don't want to break this one off, so I'm going to wait until I can get that new torches over here. But, in the meantime, 
we can get up, if I can get it up here. So in the meantime, I'm gonna take the radiator off. I'm gonna take this off, because as you know, I'm gonna paint this engine bay. Probably gonna paint it black, so don't be a hater. I know, I should, probably should have waited, but I just want it done, so I can carry on with my next thing. And I got a surprise for you guys. You guys might like it for the channel, you might not. basically put it on there to help it protect the radiator. Ready to there. We're almost there. I'm gonna get this chain off. I'm These little guys 
are very important for your radiators, so if you guys don't lose them, keep them in a safe spot. If you lose them, you'll start cracking radiators really quick. As you can see, mounts I'm gonna warm up this can real quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright, so the can is all warmed up, so we're gonna start. Start over here, work our way. Look at that transformation, it looks so much better. So, looks good. So, I'll finish up painting the inside of the car, but the uh, engine bay, and I'll let you guys see it. You guys let me know what you think. I mean, it's gonna stay that color, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And, uh, no one really said anything about the paint, and uh, hold on, I gotta get a drink of my green tea. Good stuff right there. Anyways, no one really told me what color to paint it. I was thinking about the new Toyota Blue. I, mean, I like it really good. You guys leave a comment below, see if you guys like it. Go look it up. It's Toyota Blue 2021. Bless America. That's what I get for painting the outside before that I paint the inside. I paint on my hands.
right, what do you guys think? I think it looks really, really good. Now, I know I missed right there, but my spray paint was uh, getting a little low, so, you know, had to do what I had to do. So, we're going to let this dry, and I got a surprise for you. I'll go show you guys. Got a surprise for you. So, that'll be it for this thing for today, for this week. Next week, hopefully we can get this K-frame off. And I'll get you guys up to date on what we are doing for the K-frame. Because I got order parts in. Uh, Vans Auto had all the parts I needed, but... Uh, I wasn't going to spend $500 on just for the front suspension. So, here we go, Amazon. So, that'll be it for today. I'm going to go show you guys the, the surprise. I'm going to go show you guys the surprise real quick and see what you guys think. Alright, here it is. We bought a derby truck. We don't know what we're going to do with it yet, so... Leave a comment below. I mean, what we're gonna, what you think we should do with it? I mean, good old S10. And only bad thing is, I'll show you guys now. But there's a reason why we bought it for so cheap. Well, first of all, there's no battery in it, so that's one reason. And the second reason is, can you guys see that hole right there? Yeah. She blew a rod right through the oil pan. So, probably what we're going to do, probably take that oil pan out, take that rod out, then JB weld that oil pan up, and just give her all the beans until she can't handle the beans anymore i mean I and mean, what else can we do with this thing i mean it's all right pre-ran i mean unless you guys think we should put a new motor in it and give her the beans at the demo but I'm not a really good demo guy because uh you know, racing i think is more fun but i mean my buddy brad he he demos so he likes it really really well so I don't know maybe see what he wants to do with it might try to well he does the I don't even know what he does but he does the crown fix freaking built to the T and there's sometimes that you know so that'll be it for today and uh, we guys will catch you on the next one Boop. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Do not hit this button right here. Don't hit it. Do not hit it. If you guys hit it, I will have to do something that I don't want to do. So don't hit that button. Boop.